surely Mansfield can rely on him. If I could go back to that moment now, and it's me and that keeper again, I know he's diving, I'll do it again. Liam Lawrence, oh, he tried to be clever, far too clever, and the man who scored 12 penalties during the course of the season has missed in this shootout. I'd obviously had a really good season that, that season and could scored 19 goals or something like that, 12 of which were penalties, ironically. So, yeah, I, I, I felt good going into the final. I was fit, I was really strong, and I was looking forward to the game. You know, I wasn't phased or, or, or thinking about it too much. I just wanted to get it done and, and get the job done. But as we know, playoff finals, they're, they're, they're never a gimme and anything can happen on, on the day. And they're right behind their team today. Huddersfield fans, Mansfield fans. As you can see, there's a packed crowd there as well from both sides. And as we're coming into the tunnel, you, know, you can see the, the opposition, that big Andy Booth, some big lads that we were playing against. It was just great to see that Mansfield had brought so many fans as well. There was such an expectation on us. And you get in that tunnel and you, you're, eye, you're eyeing up the opponents and you just can't wait to, to get going. Just maybe these two teams will go for it today. Both relegated for Division 2 last season, both eager to make a quick return. Brings back a lot of, a lot of emotions and, and feelings now when, when, when you watch this. I've not seen this for, for quite some time, the actual, the actual walk out. I've only seen highlights. And I look back at our team as well and we had, we had a really good team. Some really good players mixed with youth and, and experience. I don't know what I was doing with that, with that aircon, by the way, but... Someone's got to go up, someone's got to stay down, something's got to give. The Millennium Stadium is no place for losers, but it's the place for winners. Yeah, I mean, there wasn't too much in the, in the game. You know, there wasn't much goal mouth action and, and things like that. It was a very edgy, cagey kind of game, and if you look, look back at it, you, it's almost destined to, to go the full distance and go to penalties. We're going to have a penalty shootout to decide who is promoted to the second division. And that's when the butterflies start to sink in. You know, any player that tells you that they don't get that feeling that when it's full time of nerves and, and butterflies is a, I'll call them a liar. I remember leading up as well in, in the week, I'd been practicing the chip down the middle and it was, you know, it was working smoothly, it was working perfectly. And, I knew the keeper was going to dive as well. A fitting finale to the football season. A penalty shootout in the last of the playoff finals. Rob Edwards is going to be first up for Huddersfield. Edwards, first up. To be fair to Huddersfield, their, the quality of their penalties was really good. You can't beat a penalty shootout. Yet there is so much at stake. Next to take the long, long, long walk is Wayne Gordon, but he's in front of his own fans. Such a shame because you're shooting towards the Mansfield Jackson fans as well. Hoping. He fails from the spot, but there are thousands who are willing him to score at that end. Wayne Cawthon is the name, and it's a save. So, I mean, you can't write it. Cawthon misses his. Next Wayne Cawthon and I miss mine, and we've scored and penalties that year for fun. Gets to a penalty shootout and well, lad, things change. They have to get back into this one now. I don't think they're going to afford another miss. Liam Lawrence up. Oh, here we go. Liam Lawrence, 12 of his 22 goals this season came from the penalty spot. Goals it was that year, Surely Mansfield can rely on him. Liam Lawrence, oh, he tried to be clever. Oh, Far too clever. And the man who scored 12 penalties the during the course of the season has if missed I take a little bit off in there, this shootout. It goes in. Uh, if there's a way not to miss a penalty, that's the one. That is the one. You never want to be known as a real clever dick, if you like, and oh, I think that's too casual. He shouldn't have been doing that, but there you go. He scored so many, hasn't he? Got hammered for that. Absolutely hammered. Still to this day, the Huddersfield fans love it as well. The Millennium Stadium holds its breath. It is Tony Cars. It's in. And it's looking so, so good.
for Huddersfield. Neil, Neil McKenzie now to score for Mansfield. He has to score. It's emphatic, very emphatic. It's only a thin lifeline, though. Because if Lee Fowler scores he here... Pull something out of the bag for you on this last one. Huddersfield have done it. It doesn't come much bigger than that. A monumental kick. He has scored! Huddersfield Town have done it! Horrible they feeling. came with hope! Horrible feeling. My heart goes out to Mansfield, but to the, the victors go to spoils and second division football next year and another year in the third division for Mansfield. But the likes of Corden and Lawrence have been great for them this season. But the last word on this season is Huddersfield! It was tough because, it, you know, I felt that I'd done great things to to help get the club to the, to the playoff final. But then I've got a duty when we've got there to, to get them over the line. And when you miss a penalty like that, and a lot of people are relying on you, including your teammates, you know, you've got family in the crowd, a lot of family in the crowd I had in that game, and, and you miss the way you miss like that. It's, it's not great, it's a massive sense that you've let everybody down. It's, it's a memory though, isn't it? It was a, a big thing. Um, it didn't define my career in any way. Um, I'm a strong character, and I was a strong character even at that young age. That I was driven and focused, and you know there was talk that I was going to be leaving. I was speaking to to a few other clubs and stuff, but that had nothing to do with, with the penalty and and what unfolded that day. It's just one of them things. It happens. I tried to chip it, I missed, more fool me, and I got the stick I deserved off, off the Uddersfield fans and the media and, and my own fans to, to some extent. Same situation, what would you do? I'd take a bit off it. <laughs> I would do it again. If I could go back to that moment now, and it's me and that keeper again, I know he's diving, I would do it again. I would do it again, but I'd just make sure that it was it was executed properly because it was just the execution that was wrong. I practiced them all week leading up, but the occasion gets the better of you at times, and my run-up was too quick, too much power in it, and it hits the bar and goes over.